Hey everybody, it's Julian or Flow Graphics here and you might be a bit surprised or a bit confused about what this video is. Uh, for those of you who are new subscribers, you won't actually have seen this before, um, but I recently, well not recently, but a while ago, um, I did a game dev diary series. Um, if you didn't know, I actually finished a degree in game design and one of my passions is game design and I like to dabble in it from now and then and I, I really need to start sort of pursuing it and I really want to sort of build up some projects consistently and game dev diaries is a way for me to do that and bring you all along with me. Uh, so what I did previously was develop a, an actual game um, which I did for a university project and I actually made videos showing you all the steps along the way and sort of the insights on what, what we did and why we did it and things like that. And I'm going to do that again but I'm tr going to try and include you all a little bit more this time. So what you can see on the screen, this is Unity, I use Unity, it's a game development engine and this is a sort of like a project I've made myself which is basically a building system. If you've ever played a, like a survival game similar to Rust or um, uh, what's it called, Ark um, and other sorts of Conan, other sorts of games like that. They commonly have sort of base, like modular base building systems. Um, and I thought to myself one time, I'm like, hey, um, and this was a few months ago, I basically just spent a weekend making a little sort of base building system. The iteration that's on the screen right now isn't really complete at all. Um, because I sort of remade the whole thing from scratch in a bit more of an efficient way. I'm not really a programmer. Um, th there's a lot I don't know about programming. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an artist, so I know just enough programming to get by, but I'm actually going to get some help from one of my past university lecturers, um, a guy called Martin. He's going to um, work on this with me, hopefully, and I'm going to actually pursue this into, you know, like a proper project where we're basically going to create a fully fleshed out and detailed, like, building system for a game, um, create set up set up like a multiplayer network and things and set up like first person shooting and stuff so it will basically be sort of like a base building shooting sort of survival game uh, actually not really survival there won't really be many survival mechanics but it'll either be sort of like an open world sort of base building sort of game or it'll be something where it's like sort of quick almost like capture the flag matches where there's two teams have to quickly set up bases and protect their flag or something like that and there's a lot of sort of moment to moment sort of gameplay. I'm not sure exactly how it'll pan out but I'll show you guys what I've made up to so far. Keep in mind this is all 100% just what I've made from scratch. I didn't use any templates, anything. Um, I didn't even really research, I just sort of made this and what I thought would work. Um, so <laughs> don't be too harsh, I, like I said I'm not a programmer. Um, Oops, I accidentally got this axe turned on. If you recognize this axe, this is actually an asset, um, like a model I made. Um, I got a speed out of it on this touch channel, so this is what it looks like inside a game, although the textures aren't set up properly, so none of its reflection maps or anything are, are proper. But um, let's just turn that off for now. So this is just a really, you know, crappy, litty, crappy looking um, sort of scene I made. Um, so I'll just turn off Maximize to play. Um, so I just set up this basic forest scene and you can see I've got this sort of cube in front of me that follows the camera and if I look at the ground it'll sort of snap to blue um, once it clicks in the ground and then I can click and it'll basically create a foundation and then once a foundation is created um, if I look beside it it will snap to positions beside it and if I click I can build more foundations um, so that's how you sort of build the base base plates of your structures and then I can swap to a pillar and then pillars sort of snap to the corners of these foundations um, so I can you know build pillars like that, I can build pillars on top of each other I could swap to a wall and then if two pillars are built um, like built beside each other you can build a wall currently this is just a problem with my game design um, you might be able to work out what's happening here but I've actually just positioned the pillars too far down so this wall checking to see if two pillars are touching it um, it's actually that top pillar is touching this wall. That's why it thinks it can build that wall there. That's just a really easy fix. I'll just have to fix it up later. Um, but yeah, so you can build, you can build them. You can build doorways, um, and then you can build ceilings. So if four pillars, uh, where's my ceiling? <laughs> if four pillars are on a um, a point, you can build a ceiling there. Um, so you know I won't be able to build a ceiling here because there's only two pillars. But I put down two more like that. Um, I can now build. I keep forgetting what keys what. <laughs> Where's my ceiling? Oh, there. I can build a ceiling. Um, in in a previous iteration of this building system, I actually made staircases um, and doors and windows, and doors can open and close, and you can go up the staircases. Um, I'll add all that back in, but I'm just going to show you what I've got now. So, yeah, this is basically, you know, the type of system I'm creating, like this sort of modular building, and this will be used in sort of like PvP 
mechanic. So I'll make this into like a first person shooter sort of game. Um, and you'll basically, you know, be building your own base and shooting people and fighting um, against their bases and things like that and trying to sort of raid and get up, get into other people's bases. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure where I'll take this mechanic or what exactly I'll do with this sort of project, um, but it's just something, something fun to work on um, and it'll be really cool to bring you all along with me uh, during this project. So that's sort of the really basic sort of version. Um, I've only really created the basics of this building system so far. I haven't set up anything else. Um, I didn't want to create anything else before I started sort of showing you what I've done so far. So this is what we've got so far. Um, I'd love to hear all of your feedback. If you, if you, any of you guys play similar games to this genre, or anything like that, and you've always wanted something in one of these games, you know, maybe you're a hardcore, you know, sort of first person shooter player. Um, and you would play a game or you would like a project similar to what I'm doing now and there's a certain mechanic or something you've always wanted in a game, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear all of your feedback because um, I'm, I'm sure more, most a lot of you play games um, and know some sort of amount about game design or, you know, just games in general or anything like that, even just art and what looks good. If you're an artist and you th think something would look cool in this game or like a certain art aesthetic or a certain way, because I have no idea on how we're going to do, you know, the aesthetics of this game or anything like that. Um, it's all just totally up in the air at the moment. So that's why I'd love to bring all of you with me. So I'm going to be releasing sort of incremental videos um, every every couple of weeks or something and showing you the, sort of the development behind the scenes, how I sort of program some things. I'll make some art assets. I'll show you, you know, speed arts and things. Show you basically all the different components which makes a game work. Um, this video here um, is just super basic. I just want to introduce you all to um, this sort of series and let you all know what's happening. But yeah, hopefully you all sort of like this series. I really enjoy making these um, and I've really wanted to get back in touch with game design. And if you sort of, if you're new and you didn't watch my previous series, you can go and watch my older videos about the game Tension, which I made. I had a lot of fun making that game. Um, and then you can get a, a sort of brief idea, though saying that I will lay out these this series a lot better than I did with the previous series. And I'd love to show you guys a lot more behind the scenes and actually show you how I, I make certain art assets and, and the actual and sort of try and teach you guys a little bit more about what I'm what I'm doing and also involve you all in the project and hopefully I can get all of your feedback and, and turn that into sort of actual results in the project that I'm making. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this sort of video everyone. I thought it'd be awesome to sort of mix this up and put this back into my channel because I really do love game design. It's a, it's a strong passion of mine and I've been wanting to sort of get a project like this up and running uh, for a while now and this is a great way to do it. So I hope you all have an awesome day and I hope you like this video. Be sure to leave a comment like I said before, leave me any feedback or anything like that. So it's been Julian of Flow Graphics here. See ya.